Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your man Hanley on the line with you. You know, we got Nisi coming on, the videographer for Amy. You know my man Ashton Martin out of Atlanta, so she's about to join up. We're about to get her in. It's going to probably be a part two-part interview because I'm on, right now, I'm just all over the place. But, yo, Nisi, when you're in here, let me know. There she is. I'm about to invite Nisi. What's up? What's up? Hanley, don't be rushing me. I ain't trying to rush you. Uh, I ain't trying to rush you, sweetheart. I'm just telling you, it was cold out here. Hey, <laughs> like I said, didn't nobody tell you to go out there in the cold? I, I know, I know. You look, you look pretty tonight. Oh, I had to get right. That's why I got the hat. No, but on. I mean, I mean, you always look pretty, but I mean, like you look like you got extra pretty for me. <laughs> oh no, you freezing up? Oh, there you are. Yeah. All right, all right. How are you? How are you doing? Good, I'm good. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm getting there. You know, a lot of shit. You know, I, I've been talking to you. You know what I'm going through. I'm dealing with a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah. right now, I'm trying to organize an online with mental health and illness event so that we could uh, donate the profits and proceeds to the to my city mental health organization. So I'm just preparing that. And plus, we got the two-year anniversary of uh, online with already. I can't believe it. March 1st. Hey, congratulations. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. So, everybody that don't know Nisi, if you don't follow her, please follow her. And if you don't follow <laughs> me, please follow me. So, let's start this. So, we got Nisi. She's a, she's the videographer for AME. That's Ashton Martin, One Drew's part of it. There you go. She repping, she repping. She got her own. She got her own beanie on. If you want a beanie from her, hit her up. They're comfortable, but it don't fit my big ass head. But, <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out with some more. That's gonna be a little bit bigger. That's cool. I'll, I'll probably have that two for one. You know me. I always want to represent. I still need to get a T-shirt from Ashton. Mm. Can you send you one? I'm, 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 I'm gonna talk to him because everything I get from like people that I interview, I have that big wall that <clears> I says on the line with. I'm gonna put everything up there, so it's gonna be like an artist wall like so everybody's stuff is up there promoted you know i'm doing everything for everybody i'm not trying to do this shit for myself it's never just for me it's for everyone else yeah yeah that's, oh. that's, dope. that's a good idea so so you've been doing videos for ashton for for for, for i don't know maybe for what several years maybe like three four uh maybe maybe two years yeah. oh so just when we met then when we all met mm -hmm, around that time yeah, I like, I, I, I like I like how we all evolved at the same time. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and at that time it was full circle. I interview Ashton, I interview one Drew, and now I'm interviewing Nisi. It's been a goddamn <laughs> minute because we've been planning it, but it never happens. Because I'm right. always looking busy or she's doing something. I mean, she's a church girl. She's always sending me prayers and thinking about me. I love oh, her yeah. for that. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. I love you for that, for real. I, I when I come to Atlanta, you're the first person. Or no, you're not in Atlanta. You're in Florida. Yeah, I'm in Florida. All right, well, I'm, I'm in Florida, Florida. Florida first. First thing I do is hit Florida and give you a big-ass Hanley bear hug. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hold you to it, Hanley. Oh, you, you better, because I'm going to have your beanie on when I do it, too. <laughs> oh, so that means you're going to have a headache, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I laugh yeah, you remember, every you time. Remember, that was so funny last time. I, I you, yo, you were fucking, you were cr you were crashing me when I was talking to Ashton that time. You're like, yo, look, he said bra <laughs> he said, he said braids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, Ashton, uh, speak of the devil, speak of the, speak of the saints, and he shall appear. What's up, fam? Yo, Ashton, what's good? You want to hop in with us? That'd be good. We could get a lot of info from back both of y'all. Let me see. I'll send him an invite. You cool with that? <laughs> oh wait, you left. Damn it. Yeah, he probably having connection issues. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> doing the videos for Ashton and stuff, like was that your first like beginning of videography? Because I watched that I watched that documentary about your grandmother on yeah. YouTube. Thank and you. And that shit that shit hit my heart, man. That Thank was you. well done. Like you, you did well done with that one. If anybody on this chat has hasn't seen it, I suggest you go to Nisi's YouTube. Uh, Nisi. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the uh, description of this uh, this card, this card chat. 
Let's go. We're on, we on episode 48. We're almost at 50. Woo! 48, 48, 48. Oh, uh, you know? <laughs> yo, Nisi's hype, yo. I need her to be my hype man. <laughs> hey, I got you. Yo. You already know. Yeah, you know, and I'm back making music and shit. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making music then. If I come to Florida, I might make you shoot a video. It'll be dope. We can do that. We can do that. You already know we're gonna take care of you. That's no, what if, for. if I get some, if I get video footage and I send it to you, would you help me out with editing some stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Oh, you're the best. Yo, Ashton. Hey, you're you're here. Hold, up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Invite. But yeah, so. So starting off with Ashton and one Jew making your videos, what was it like working with them together? Uh, well, I actually been shooting music videos for about 10 years. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> but when I was doing it before, um, I wasn't shooting with purpose. I was just shooting because, you know, the group of uh, friends I was with, we just tried to uh, start a business together, but I wasn't happy on set. I wasn't respected i was overlooked just and um dismissed yeah because you know i'm i'm naturally just a, a quiet person so you know i'm an, intro people, I'm an introvert too i don't like talking yeah. unless i need to <laughs> so a lot of people think introverts are sl uh, not slow but uh not intelligent or in don't know what they're doing all right Joel. Back, i think i think we're the best because we observe more than we speak you you so. you, you and you and ashton and uh uh, his wife and one Drew, the way you guys worked together, the way that boss camp looked, it was very well done. I mean, I looked at it, I was like, yo, they should do this in a bigger setting. It would help so many artists. Yeah, so and that's the plan. Shout out, okay. shout out Ashton Martin's wife. I, yeah. I, I, I have her name on the tip of my, tip of my tongue, but I can't get it out. Dicuria. Dicuria, yeah, shout out Dicuria. You know, she, she's really, really like, she's really in there. She's really boss camp. Yeah, yeah. We're going but, to do it annually. It's going to get bigger and bigger. Yeah. We just had to get ourselves right first. So it was just, yeah, exactly. just aiming. Yeah. You time. can't, you can't, like you said, you were shooting without a purpose. And then when you had a purpose, it feels much better because you know that like you're doing something, doing something that's going to make an impact. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the first two letter of impact is I'm. So that's what you're doing. I'm making an impact. Yep, and you, yep, yep, you yep. are, you are, you make fantastic videos. You, you really do. I gotta give you that. I will always, always give you that love because you deserve it. And I don't, I don't know if you get uh, consistent love on the stuff you do. But if you don't, then I mean, people gotta start, gotta start recognizing that Nisi okay. J is putting in that work, and she ain't playing about it. She's doing oh, the thing. Appreciate you, Hanley. And you know what? Um, because when I crossed over, when I first started shooting with Purpose, I didn't have any of the camera equipment that I had. So all those thousands of dollars that I invested into my business at at the time, I couldn't get any of that stuff back. But I won't get into why. Well, and this why not? Third. It's the interview. This is what we no, do. No, they, they, they said I wasn't allowed to get it back. And you paid for it? Yeah, I helped pay for it that's so a bullshit I, I, didn't, I didn't even ask for the most expensive things you know you, I you, you guys should have had a written contract on figuring it out like if someone splits someone gets that but i mean yeah i mean you know when you start a business with friends it, it's yeah. not always the best movement it's always it, it always ends up crumbling somehow if, if one person's broken the whole crew is broken yeah but at yeah. least now you're with a team that actually has a purpose like amy yeah. It, yeah. I, I think I think it's great because it's a double entendre, right? Amy stands for Ashton Martin Entertainment, and it also starts with I said, what is it? Always awake, awake what is motivate, it? educate. Awake, awake, motivate, educate. That's right. Hey, appreciate See? that, Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna pin that comment because you are the goat. <laughs> and um. But yeah, when I ran into uh, Ashen, I, at the time I didn't even know we were related, and I found You're related. I, yeah, I'm related to him and his wife. Oh yeah, because I see you called said the cousin. I knew yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, that, but I know y'all were related to Ashen Martin. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, we're related. And um, at the time, I had no, like I said, I had no computer, not computer, but a uh, camera equip camera equipment. But Ashen is so humble, and he saw. My purpose. He saw the gift of me. And he said he didn't care. 
and I had a beat up iPhone 10X Max at the time. And that's when I shot the first music video. So, I mean, I can see how it's not as clear as it should be, but... The editing was great, though. That's what matters, is the editing, I mean, and the purpose, like you said. Yeah. So, and that's the relationship we have. He he trusts me, I trust him, to the point where if he wants something done, he does it. A lot of artists, when they want something shot or edited, they tell you exactly what they want, how they want it, uh, what they don't want. Asher, he just be like, just do whatever. I trust you. I trust your vision. So that's why I love with working with AME. Yeah, you no, know, definitely. I mean, I'm the same way. When I made music videos, when I was rapping like 10, 12 years ago, uh, I give the I give the director the, the video and I tell him just make it how you want it. When I see what you've done, if I don't like something, we'll change it. But yeah. I, I just I gotta have trust in the person, or I'm not gonna do it because yeah. You know, someone can make you look amazing or someone can make you look like a fucking clown. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with having, you know, certain things that you want or don't want. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, Perfect Storm says she wants to hear it. What, she, what does she want to hear? You know her? Uh, Joelle, ex uh, explain what you want to hear and I'm sure she'll give me the link to it. She's just, she's she's a friend that helps with the mental health and illness and oh, stuff okay. like on Instagram with me. Good person. <laughs> As you can see, yeah. she, she loves me. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So what are, you, are you working on something right now with them, or are you guys taking a break? No, we're actually working on something this weekend. Oh. for um, his. He got an um, EP dropping soon next month called NSD, Never Stop Dreaming. Yeah, I know. I, we, we've talked about it. We're going to do an interview about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. I'm always, I'm always on asking his ass with an interview. Yeah, <laughs> Already knew you probably already knew what he coming out with soon. So yeah, that I'm drops lurking. on the twenty fourth. I don't talk much on Facebook, but I'm lurking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, every, yeah. Everybody got a little lurking when it comes to Facebook. So you know, it's all good. Why I'll be on Facebook and I'll just post a selfie of my pale ass face and I just hope for the likes. <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh gets me every time. <laughs> Oh man! No, but so, yeah, so you guys are working on stuff for NSD. Uh, are you working on a full out video, or are you working on like some sort of documentary behind it? Uh, it's basically a, a music video. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, most of it I think is a surprise, so I'm not going to get into it. But uh, it's very creative. Uh, Ashton and Dakir came up with the concept, and um. Also, we've been working on some behind the scenes work. Whenever he's uh, in the booth, he sends me the footage of how he put the song together. I put those clips together, send it back to him. So uh, he's probably be dropping that. It, show, it shows the creative process. And Ashton yeah. Burton has a very, 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 very strong uh, creative process. He takes his time and he always has a concept. That's one thing about him. I still think he has to do that goddamn video for Bible Belt. Mm. That track was so, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can and, hear that. Oh, and he knows that I've been saying it for like a year. I'm like, yo, do a video for Bible Belt, damn it. <laughs> yeah. No, so. Uh, so, yeah, the behind the scenes stuff. What do you like working on more? Like, do you like, do you like doing music videos? You like doing documentaries? I know that documentary, I'm telling you, you got to keep sharing that documentary about your grandmother because that, yeah. that stuff is real and it hits the heart, man. Like, you really did good with that one. Appreciate that. I actually have a few documentaries I still need to edit. Um, now, I do love documentaries, but they just take a lot of, if you really want something with depth, you need to do a lot of research. Yeah. And to be honest, I just haven't been focused enough to do the research. I feel you. The way, the way you did your grandmother's uh, documentary, I like because like you showed like the area of where you're going to be speaking about. Mm -hmm. And she answered questions like she was really deep into the answer. She like everything she said, she meant she seemed like one woman mm -hmm. that I would not mess with. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. She actually was a, a, a very, very, very sweet though. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, I, I really, I really did like, I really did like that broadcast. I'm going to share that on my page later again. So people can see it. If you're on my Facebook, you guys can check it out later. Appreciate that. Yeah, of course. So, 
Yeah. Um, what you're in? You're in Florida. Yeah. Uh, what, what's what's the mental health state like out there? Um, I noticed when I moved here to Panama City, uh, there's a lot of people dealing with anxiety. Hell yeah. And depression. And um, yeah, that's basically yeah. yeah. It's probably sounds, sounds like Florida's just got about it fucking clones of me. Clones. <laughs> Yeah, it's like clones <laughs> to me. <laughs> Anxiety yeah. and depression. Yeah. Just but, walking down the street and you're like, what up, Hanley? <laughs> yeah, but, but I think living by the water kind of helps a lot of people. Too. Oh, you live by the water? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely coming to Florida to see you. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on through. Yeah, I just got to get a passport. That's all I need. I'm not a felon, so I can get across the border. <laughs> How much was it? How much is a passport? Like a hundred dollars? No, it's like I think it's like uh, like maybe like one fifty or something. And then, but if I want it like like uh, very fast, it's like five hundred bucks. But right now, there's like a backlog because of the pandemic when it happened. So like nobody was able to get their passports. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right now, now I'm waiting. But I'm gonna probably try and get it in the spring. I mean, I'm not working right right now. I'm off on. Uh, like a like a disability uh, coverage and I'm dealing with that, but I want to get back to work. It's just so much. I'm I'm still just dealing with a lot of shit. So, but I mean, I I do have a phone interview tomorrow for a manager position, which is cool. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get back. But I definitely want to hit you guys up because I know I told Ashton that I'm gonna find him when I come through. I'm gonna hit you up. I gotta find one Drew because that's my guy. That guy, that guy drops bars. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. So, uh, have you? Do you have any? Do you have any videos that you're doing for just Drew? Um, <clears throat> I'm supposed to shoot one for him maybe next month. I think he went this month, but haven't heard back from him, so it's probably gonna be next month from his new um, EP. What's it called? Boulevard. What's it called? I I saw, I saw, I saw the picture. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, it's got the street sign yeah. on it. Yeah, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, I saw him on there. Is that the street where he's from? I think so. That's, that's the street he grew Makes up on. Sense, yeah. That's, I, I liked it. I liked it. Um, so that's dope. You got some videos in the work. You got some behind the scenes stuff going on, kind of like a documentary thing going on. I have some. I have some footage. I'm gonna send you something to try and make me something cool. Oh, I, I I need a reel for for Facebook and Instagram. My shit boring. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna have to charge you double then. No, I'm just joking. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad that we got to have this first little chat. But look, uh, oh you cold? Gonna, ain't you? Oh hell yeah, yeah. But look, we're gonna. I'm in the car now at least, but it's still cold as hell. <laughs> yeah, I saw that snow in your in your picture. Hell yeah, look at snow right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's, it's hot over here. Yeah, yeah, I know it's Florida. <laughs> Manic, that sounds. He sounds familiar. He's a Fort Lauderdale. Okay, that Who's name that? sounds. Oh, perfect storm. Said Manic is in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, yeah, she she's she's in Florida too, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think Fort Lauderdale is about four or five hours from me. Oh, damn! Really, from Panama City, it's that far? Yeah, but Florida's wow. a big state. I live in the Panhandle at the top. Yeah. For a lot of those. That's the Bible Belt, too, right? Whoa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh. And, and you're very religious. I know that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, it, I like does, well, does that, that personal relationship with God. That's how I like to say it. Yeah. Does, 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 that, does that connection with God and with religion come deep out from your family? Is your family deep in it, too? Uh, yeah. 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 So, I I mean, you're you're basically just a product of your time, and and, and you've been in, your family instilled that religion, that care, that passion for for God in you, and you still do it, which is which is which is commendable. I I, I personally I I'm very I'm not very religious. I'm not I'm not like everybody else, but I, I'm not one to <clears throat> judge someone on the religion they're they're in. You know what I mean? But I mean, I still believe there's something out there. I just oh, yeah don't know what it is yet but we'll find out we all find out oh yeah 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 like i wasn't always like as soon as i left the house i told myself man i ain't never going to church no more 
And that's when I had to kind of experience God for myself. You know, nothing was going right. Um, I kept like connecting myself with people who were good for me. Um, yeah, you know, I was take, being taken advantage of. A whole bunch of things was happening. And I finally just had to surrender. I said, God, uh, I need your help. And ever since then, um, I, I found my purpose. Um, I'm careful who I connect myself to. Um, I, and my real issue was wanting to please people. That's what got me in a lot. Always, always, always wanting to please people lead you to, to the worst, worst parts of yourself. Yeah. You can please everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want to get like a certain reaction. You want to show them a part of you that they're not seeing. So you keep doing things for them to make them happy, and it's never going to make them happy. And that's why I do the other podcast, like the main podcast on the line with. I do that because it, it really shows that who the artist is. It's not just their music. It's it. They talk about their mental health that they've dealt with, or maybe they have a diagnosed mental illness. They talk about it. It's a vulnerable show. It's deep. It's real deep. Wow. And speaking of which, Ashton's supposed to be on that soon. I just got to figure out a date. Uh, my boy, Michael Devon, who just joined, is supposed to be on it as well. It's a big It's a big season this, this, this season. Like The last two seasons had 12 episodes. This one's about 23. Okay. Well, I'm proud for it. I mean, I thought... I got some big names on it, you know, like some big old hip hop, uh, like legends and shit, like like uh, Raz Cass and and people like that. I got some new artists that are big, like Merkums and and, uh, and King Nova. They're all they're all working hard. They're all coming on the show, you know. I'm getting I'm getting closer and closer to big names. I'm supposed to be on live later with Fat Joe's son again, but he's always busy. But we've done like three episodes, so I mean, okay. so I just want to talk to him about his new album. I want to see if he's going to invite me to his wedding because I want to go meet Fat Joe and DJ Khaled. <laughs> I hope you get that invite. Yo, if they invite me, I go to New York and then they're taking a private flight to Miami. Well, you need to get your passport still. Yo, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> if he invites me, I'm telling him, yo, I'm coming through. <laughs> Send me a seat at Fat Joe's table. <laughs> yeah. You know? That'd be cool. Just going to be there taking notes and shit. <laughs> Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, no, I definitely get filmed. And that's the shit I send you. I'll be like, yo, <laughs> we need to release this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. But right. look, we're gonna let 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 me get to let me get to my house. If you're free in a little <laughs> bit, we'll continue this conversation if you can, and I'll hit you up when I'm at my house. Handley, yeah, I a... can go into bed. Okay, go to bed. We'll do a part two another day. All right. Love you. Right. Take care. Appreciate Listen, you, fam. Appreciate you. Perfect storm. I, I, I am so glad that we got to have this conversation and we got to see each other face to face instead of just texting. And yeah, I'm telling you, finally. you have been doing you have been doing amazing things, not just for Ashton and Drew and everybody, but for yourself. You're doing things that are gonna that are gonna end up helping your next generation because you're gonna be teaching people things. And they might pick it up, and you're creating a new cycle. You know what I mean? Thank you. If there, if there's bad, if there's, if there's a, uh, I don't know. Let's just say an evil cycle that 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 just spirals around. Once once you create a new one, that one will break. And I think you'll be able to do that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. And so I, we'll do. A, we'll do. Sorry, that, go ahead. I'm proud that you never gave up. Even though you might have gave it up a couple times, but you never fully gave up. I'm happy you're nearing your two year anniversary for. I give up. Online. I give up like I give up like every second day, and then the next day I'm like, who want to do an interview? Yeah. <laughs> That's that purpose. That's that pushing me. Yeah. I, I just I just want to make sure that I could get people's stories and actually and actually instead of just talking about their music, let people actually know who the person is. It's not it's not just the artist, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not it's it's Ashton Martin and that's who he is as an artist and as a person. And as for you, <clears throat> you I call you Nisi, but it's Janice. And you're you're making a purpose. Like I said, you're doing something different. You're 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 showing people around you that you have a purpose with that camera and that camera is your purpose. Amen. So Thank I'm you. proud of you. I love you. Love and you. we're going to catch up soon. All right. All right. You take care. Thanks, everybody.
Everybody who's not following me, follow me. Hit me up if you need an interview. Anybody not following Nisi, make sure you hit her up. And if you want to see that documentary, check my Facebook page or ask Nisi on her on her DMs, and I'm sure she'll send it to you. Oh, yeah. This is on the line with episode 48. Two more episodes, right? Episode 50. I told y'all by March we're going to get fucking 50, 50 episodes. We're almost there. So, let's go. On the line with your boy Hanley. Everybody have a great night. Again, Nisi, much love. Keep doing your thing. And you look mad cute. I'm telling you, you're cute as hell tonight. All right, Hanley. Thank you. (laughs) Get some heat. Take, Take care.